In today's video, we are gonna learn how to change, customize, and edit your view in Microsoft Outlook. There are, at present, two versions of Microsoft Outlook that are available for Windows computers. The first version we're gonna look at is the traditional 365 desktop application, and the second version is the new Outlook, which is more of a progressive web app. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up, and if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So as I mentioned, the first version of Outlook we're going to customize is the traditional Outlook. So it's just your standard 365 Outlook that you've been using for years. We're gonna open this up and then what you'll see in the top ribbon here, you've got your file, your home, and your send, receive. And the second from the last option is view. We're gonna open this one up. This is going to allow us to change the default layout of Outlook. And I'm gonna run through a few quick things here right now. The first thing I would recommend is actually turning on this button here that says show as conversations. This allows you to turn conversations into threads that you can drop down instead of having to find individual emails. So no matter what view you use, I do recommend turning on this button that says show as conversations. I'd recommend when this dialog box pops up, select to do it to all mailboxes. But if you just wanna do it to a specific folder that you're in, you can select on this folder, but I'd recommend going all mailboxes. your Outlook will flash for a second, and then you'll have your conversation threads turned on. Because this is a demo account, I actually don't have any conversation threads here, but I'd recommend trying this out on your Outlook, uh, and then you'll actually see how well it looks when it, you have your conversation threads turned on. Back to the View tab in the top left-hand corner, you can see there is an option of Change View Settings. If you drop this down, these are the three preset settings by Microsoft where you have the Compact, your single view where you get a little indication. I really don't like this view at all. Uh, and then you have the preview view as well. Uh, this to me is an older style view. I am really used to using the compact edition here. Uh, so I'm gonna leave mine set like this because I find this is the most comfortable way for me to use Outlook. But of course you can change the view here. You can manage your view if you select on, I'll do that again. If you select on change view, you can actually select on manage and you can go through and create a brand new view or you can go modify and this allows you to get really granular with how your view actually looks. If you wanna spend some time in here going through it, by all means go for it. But I think for most people, you don't have to get this granular with it. Uh, just knowing that there are three view settings of compact, single and preview are more than enough. If for whatever reason your Outlook ever changes its view or you have a, it just rearranges itself for whatever reason, back in this view section, the third option from the left is reset view. And this will do a quick reset of your camera folder. I'm gonna go okay. And it will reset it back to its original compact settings. Uh, so if your Outlook ever changes around for whatever reason, uh, hitting the reset view just brings it back to default. Uh, so that's a very quick tip that you should know. Moving along, you have the button here called uh, show focused inbox or not. I'd recommend turning this on. This is sort of like a filter of your focused inbox of all your emails. But then if you have this turned on, you'll see instead of having all and unread emails, you can actually have focused and other. The other section is not quite junk, but it's more emails that are auto generated. And they're things that Outlook knows are usually less of a importance to you. So you can choose to have your show focused inbox on or off. I've gotten used to having it on because I do find it quite handy. Uh, but of course, if you don't like that and you just want traditional all and unread, you can turn this option off. Next to show focused inbox, you have the option here of message preview. And if we drop this down, you can actually choose to turn this off one, two or three lines. What this does here is underneath each email, you can see the heading and then you get a quick preview of what that email is. If you change this to, I'm gonna show you what off looks like for all mailboxes. You see, you just get the heading of that email. If we turn it onto the biggest one, which is three lines, let's go all mailboxes again. You can get a bigger preview of what that email entails before you open it up. Uh, so choose which works for you. I actually like having it set to two lines because it gives you just a little bit more context to that email before you open it up. The arrangement section just allows you to choose how your uh, emails are sorted. You can of course use the arrangement section here by picking date, anything like that. But you also have the drop down menu here that allows you to arrange by as well. This is just an easier way of accessing all the different arranging styles. 
I personally don't use this all that much. I just use the drop down menu or search, uh, but it is good to know that you can simply drop this down and select on what you're really focusing for. To the right of that, you have your layout. Uh, you have the option of using tighter spacing turned on or turned off. Uh, and you'll see here that it really just focuses a little bit more on what that email is. I actually prefer to have this turned off just to give you a bit more uh, space when you are reading your emails. But if you prefer a tighter look, you can just have this turned on. Next set, of course, you have your layout, which talks about where you want the folder pane, whether you want it normal, which is how I keep it. You can have it turned off, so you don't have that folder pane at all, which gives you a bit more screen real estate. This does look a little bit nicer, but it, make, but it makes navigating your folders a little bit harder. Uh, you can have it minimized, where you can then open it up. And then of course, if you choose to pin it, you go back into really having it as normal. The reading pane is, I think something people do customize quite a bit when they know what it looks like and how you can customize it. I keep it to the right as it currently is set, uh, set now, because I find this for me is the most common way that I've used it, I'm just familiar with it. But if you prefer turning it off, this allows you to have a more old school style of reading your emails, but you have to double click on everything to open up what those emails, what's inside of them. This, I guess, allows you to focus more, uh, but it doesn't allow you to get that quick preview uh, with the reading pane turned on. Uh, and you, of course, you can have this turned off. You can keep it to the right, which is how I leave it, or you can have it at the bottom, so you can get the uh, slider here if you just put your mouse over the line between the email uh, and your inbox and you can make it bigger or smaller and that allows you to keep it at the bottom where you can scroll through all your emails while keeping the reading pane underneath. Uh, but I personally just like leaving it on the right hand side. If you go into the options here, you can of course uh, have a read through these options and customize it to what really works for you. Um, but again, I think this is a little bit too granular for most people, but knowing that you can customize this uh, is just good to know. And then of course, next to that, you have the to-do bar. Uh, so you can choose to have a bar on the right-hand side that shows you your calendar, or you can have your people, so your contacts, um, and then of course, you can have your tasks as well. You can choose to have all of these on, uh, part of these, so we can actually have people and tasks. We can have it just as the tasks, we can have it completely off. Uh, this is actually a really cool feature in the new Outlook, but um, going through here, I would recommend having a look at the different ways you can customize your view to Microsoft Outlook and see what works best for you. Two things I'll also touch on here is actually using dark mode and adding themes to your Microsoft 365 suite that does include Outlook. This isn't done in the Outlook, uh, this isn't done in the view pane. This is actually done if we go into the top left hand corner into file and we scroll down to where it says office account. We select on our account here and then you can actually choose to have a different layout, which just customizes. You see in the top right hand corner, as I go through, it just adds a different uh, style to Outlook. But then of course you can choose office themes and have it as dark, black, white, colorful, or using your system settings. I prefer keeping things in uh, black or dark gray, just because it's easier on my eyes, uh, but this is totally up to your preference. And if you go back into your emails here, you can actually see that it does make the view quite different. One cool thing here is that uh, when you are in dark mode, you see that next to your email, where you have reply, reply all and forward, there is a little sunshine button that says switch the background. So if you're in dark mode, but you prefer reading or seeing what it looks like in light mode, you can simply select and switch the background. And if I open this up, you also have that button here, uh, which is really quite cool because it allows you to see what your email looks like, whether it's in dark or whether it's in light mode. Cool, and that is a quick way of how you can customize your view in Microsoft Outlook on the Desktop 365 app. Now we're gonna jump over to the new Outlook, which is the progressive web app version. This doesn't actually have as many features in terms of customizing the, the layout, but I think it is also good to know how you can customize it to really make Outlook work better for you. So you see in the new Outlook here, there is a much simpler layout with uh, Outlook overall. If you haven't used this version of Outlook and you are interested in it, I've got a full video of the 10 best tips and tricks to get comfortable with the new Outlook. I'll link it in the description down below. 
Uh, but you'll see here at the top, instead of having all those options in the ribbon, we now just have home, view and help. And there is the little hamburger menu here to open up and close that navigation pane. Let's jump back into our view section. And you'll see here again, it is a lot, it's a lot simpler. Uh, on the right hand side, there is a drop down menu, which is the ribbon display options. We're gonna drop this down and we can actually choose to have the simplified ribbon, which we currently have, or we can go classic ribbon and this just expands it out. But even still expanding it out, you don't have as many options as you did in the previous Outlook. The first thing we're gonna look at is of course the view settings. If you open this up, this will bring you into the settings here and this will allow you to actually scroll through and find the different ways that you can customize your Outlook. I'm not gonna go through every single one with you today. I'd recommend you doing that on your own. But you see here that you can customize the way whether your inbox is focused on or off. That was a button we had previously in Outlook. They've removed that here and put it into the settings. You can adjust the text size here to small, medium, or large. Uh, you can choose where you want your messages to be organized, whether it is the newest at the top or the newest at the bottom. Uh, and then of course you can choose to have those conversation threads turned on. Uh, you've got, again, the same thing like that messaging height. Uh, so you'll see a lot of those features that we had in the original Outlook are here, but they're no longer in the pane. You have to go into your settings here and actually read through. Again, with the reading pane, you can choose whether you want that on the right, the bottom, or hidden. Uh, and then if we scroll down, you have a few more options as well. I'm gonna close out of this for now, but one thing I would actually touch on is at the bottom is you have the option for animations. And you can choose to have this with the system settings, or you can choose to show the animations in the list or get rid of animations altogether. That's something that you don't really have in the original Outlook 365 for the desktop. So let's get out of this for now and go through some of the options here as well, because I feel most people will just use and customize the ribbon here. But again, if you are looking for more detailed settings, it is in the view settings option here, and you just have to scroll through and find what you're looking for. The conversation pane allows you to choose to have each message shown individually, or of course having it grouped into conversations. I would definitely turn uh, this on, or recommend turning it on. Uh, and then of course you can choose where you want the preview, but you can only have the preview now as shown or hidden. It doesn't give you the options of adding different lines of text, you, not one, two or three, it's just on or off and it's a single line. Uh, the zoom allows you to zoom in or out of this email, uh, which just makes it easier than using the keyboard shortcuts to zoom in and out. Your ribbon, again, we can choose to have it simplified or classic. This is really just using that drop down menu, or you can choose to use the option here. The folder pane is showing or hiding that pane. You can, of course, use the hamburger menu in the top left hand corner, or you can choose to use the buttons here. And then of course you can choose to show or hide your favorites. The reading pane allows you, as we showed before, to have it on the right or have it at the bottom, uh, or of course hide it all together. This actually looks nicer, in my opinion, uh, when you hide it all together on the new Outlook than what it looks like when you hide it in the 365 desktop app. But again, I'd recommend having it as show on the right. And then of course you can choose the density. So whether you want it a bit more roomy, really this just makes the text a bit bigger or a bit more compact and it makes the text a little bit smaller. Uh, or you can keep it as cozy, which is the default. But in this Outlook, there aren't as many ways to customize what it looks like uh, unless you go into the view settings, which I think actually helps simplify the way you use Outlook. And it also means you have a lot less issues with Outlook because there's less things to really change around. One thing to note is that in this new Outlook on the top right hand corner, you actually have your uh, meetings up here. So if you select on that, that allows you to go ahead and see all of your to do and your calendar. And in the top right hand corner above that, you actually have your my day. So this shows you everything you have on for that day. You can choose to open it up, close it, expand it, so pop it out or close it together. You can choose the notifications so you can see and customize the notifications that you get in Outlook. And then of course you get your settings as well, which is a quick way to jump into your overall account settings. If you wanted to turn on light or dark theme on the new Outlook, what we're gonna do is select on the settings app. Then we can just use this uh, search button here and type the, for the word dark. Dark mode pops up. 
and then we can go ahead and choose to use light, dark, or system settings. And then you can also customize the theme as well. Let's actually choose a different theme. And you see here that it just changes the view of your Outlook altogether. Uh, so I'm gonna hit save. So that's in dark mode. We've added a different uh, theme to it. I'm gonna X out of that. Now that I've turned on dark mode in the new Outlook, you can actually see here that I can't toggle between the light and the dark mode but I do believe this feature is coming through. So even if we open up an email and we go to switch between, between light and dark mode, it's not there on this version that I am using, but I do believe it is coming out soon. Even if I go and create a brand new email, you have the option of toggle light and back, uh, dark background here in the new email section. So you see they are bringing that feature out. So this is creating a brand new email where you can go between light and dark mode. But if we're in our inbox and we open up an email, we don't have that option yet to toggle between light and dark mode. And there you have it. That is how you can customize, personalize, and edit the view of Microsoft 365 Outlook, both on the desktop and the new version that is coming out. If you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you're on a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.